my friends, welcome to part two of our Intercontinental Championship Tournament. Yesterday, we saw Earthworm Jim beat Mojo Jojo, Captain Underpants beat Fred Flintstone, Randy Feltface beating Pim, and Deadpool beating Captain Crunch. Today, we see, in our brackets, we see Earthworm Jim against Captain Underpants, and then Randy Feltface and Deadpool. Without further ado, let's get started. What kind of match will Earthworm Jim and Captain Underpants be in today? An Iron Man match. Wow. I'm not sure how long Iron Man matches are on the game here. 15 minutes. We're going to have a 15 minute match. It's going to be a very long match up today. I was hoping to not go three parts for this, but we may have to. We'll see. Headbutt from Captain Underpants on Earthworm Jim. Then Earthworm Jim with some hits. And then a chop and chop Captain Underpants. Now a kick from Earthworm Jim. Now a slap from Earthworm Jim. Now Earthworm Jim has put the million dollar dream on Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants gets out of it. And then just pushes his way through Jim. Oh, he just slams his body onto Jim. Uppercut misses. Picks up Earthworm Jim. Small and drop. One minute into this matchup. So far, no pinfalls or submissions. The idea of an Iron Man match is simple. By the end of the 15 minutes, you have to have the most wins. You can win by pinfall, submission, or disqualification. So, they've got to watch out. Look at those stomps from Earthworm Jim onto Captain Underpants. He just keeps stomping away. Now a knee to the face. Both men go outside. What are they thinking? Earthworm Jim comes around the corner and... Oh, totally misses. Captain Underpants is playing possum. Both men can get counted out. And then it'd still be at 0-0. Zero, zero. Now at the end of the 15 minutes, if both men are tied, they both technically lose this match. And then the winner between uh, Deadpool and Randy Fellface would end up being the final and winning the Intercontinental title. So we're going to see what happens here. The first cover happened and we had a kick out. Back elbow. Now Captain Underpants thrown into the ropes. And Earthworm Jim with a hip toss. Captain Underpants right back up though. High knee from Earthworm Jim onto Captain Underpants. Kidney shot. An elbow right to the kidneys. And look at this. Bam! Captain Underpants caught him and slammed him down. Now a headbutt on the Earthworm Jim. A high knee from Captain Underpants on the Earthworm Jim. Now stomps him in the gut and steps over him. Earthworm Jim's body is now in the red. What a headbutt. What's going to happen here? Are we going to go for a pin attempt? No. Another headbutt. Earthworm Jim is just not going to give up, is he? Wow. Captain Underpants is really working on Earthworm Jim's head. Every time... Captain Underpants has been moving Jim away from the ropes. Jim gets right back up. Four minutes into this match, and no pinfall yet or submissions. We're still at 0 0. DDT from Earthworm Jim on to Captain Underpants. A pin attempt, but rope break. 
So as you can see, right above their bodies, their health bodies, shows 0-0 at the moment. Whoever gets the first victory, you'll see a 1. So every time they get a victory, they'll go 1, 2, 3, etc., etc. We're almost 5 minutes into this match, and no pinfall, no submissions, no disqualifications yet. Now Earthworm Jim is really working on Captain Underpants. And Captain Underpants has now stunned this opportunity, Jim. Opportunity for you. But you took too long because you think your brain smarts. Captain Underpants hits you in the head way too many times for this. What a macho man, Randy Savage elbow drop from Earthworm Jim. Now what does Jim have planned? Stunner! Cold Stone Stunner! One, two, oh! Captain Underpants kicks out at two, and Jim can't believe it. And Jim's hesitating, and that cost him. Uppercut, forearm, Jim in the corner, boom! Big booty right into the gut. And then the hip toss. Another cover. One. Jim kicks out at one. Small package. Small package. One. Two. Oh. Captain Underpants kicks out at two. Wow. What a clothesline. What a small package attempt from our third Jim onto Captain Underpants. That came out of nowhere. Jim throwing the ropes. Ooh, no one moves. Captain Underpants didn't know what to do. What a hit from Jim on to Captain Underpants and a knee. Uppercut, then misses. A hit, another hit to the face. Captain Underpants thrown in the corner. Jim hits. Knees. Another knee, another knee. Now he's biting him. And he throws him away. Now he's going for the pin. One, two, three. Earthworm Jim has the first victory. Ooh, he's going with the stunner and then another cover. One, two. Oh, Captain Underpants barely kicked out of that. But as you can see, down on Earthworm Jim, down there on the bottom left, there's a one above his body. Because that means he has the first victory. Captain Underpants has got eight minutes to get a victory to tie him again. Jim throws Captain P Underpants out. Captain Underpants is hurt. Ooh, a block, a headbutt, and bam. Jim down, ooh, he just threw his body on him. What an elbow. Jim is hurt, a stomp, and now Captain Underpants is going after Earthworm Jim's arms. Jim is now stunned. Stomp after stomp after stomp. Then knee to Jim's face. And he goes up to the arm again. Earthworm Jim right back up though. Decides to get back in the ring before the 10 count. Uh, there's no time to celebrate there, Jim. DDT from Earthworm Jim onto Captain Underpants. That hurt Captain Underpants' face. Captain Underpants right back up. Will he catch Jim? No, double axe handle from Jim off the top rope. And then he stomps his face. Oh, he misses that stomp. He got six and a half minutes to get a victory. Captain Underpants to tie him. What a forearm. No forearm from behind and forearm from behind. Oh, looks like he was attempting for a bear hug, but Jim gets out of it. Jim throws Captain Underpants into the ropes. Then a hip toss. Captain Underpants once again is stunned. Another knee to the face. And are we going to do another stunner? No, we're going to put him into the ropes again. And this time a Lufez press. From Earthworm Jim on to Captain Underpants. A pin attempt. One, two, three. 
That's two victories for Earthworm Jim, zero for Captain Underpants. Another Cold Stone Stunner, Cold Stone Stunner. Another cover. One, two, three. That's three victories, but Captain Underpants had his hands on the ropes and the ref did not see it. If the ref would have seen Captain Underpants' hand on the rope, he wouldn't have continued the count. So that was a very cheap pinfall from Cap or from Earthworm Jim onto Captain Underpants. Another DDT on Captain Underpants from Earthworm Jim. You have five minutes, Captain Underpants, to get three victories to tie him. Or five minutes to get four victories to win this match. Can he do it? I don't know. Clothesline from Earthworm Jim onto Captain Underpants and a stomp and another stomp. I think Captain Underpants is done. Now Earthworm Jim goes after Captain Underpants' arm. And Earthworm Jim just flipped off the fans. Chop, hit, chop, hit, kick. Now Earthworm Jim is going after Captain Underpants' a leg. Taking a moment to salute the fans. Just let Captain Underpants get counted out, Jim. Then you'll get a fourth victory. Ref's telling him to get in here. You got two seconds. Nine. And another cheap victory. Ten. Jim has four victories to zero victories from Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants right back in, though. And Jim's there to meet him. Captain Underpants with a knee to the gut. Throws Jim into the corner. You have four minutes, Captain Underpants, to get five victories to win this match. Headbutt onto Jim. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good for Jim at all. Bam! One, two. Oh, Jim kicks out. Shades of Yokozuna there with the bonsai drop. From Captain Underpants, but I'm surprised Jim kicked out. Three and a half minutes, Captain Underpants. Oh, another bonsai drop this time. Not from the ropes. One, two, three. Captain Underpants at least got one victory, but he needs four more in the next three minutes to win this matchup. I don't think he can do it in three minutes. Unless he can pull something out of that underpants of his. I really don't see anything happening. Gorilla press slam. Down goes Jim. One more hit on Jim. And he'll be stunned, Captain Underpants. But you failed. Jim thrown into the corner. What does Captain Underpants have planned? Another headbutt. Oh, another bombs. I dropped two and a half minutes. Or two and a half minutes to go. In this matchup, another bonsai drop, bonsai, bam! One, two, three. That's two victories to four victories. You have two minutes to get at least two more victories to tie him. Can you do it? I don't think he is. Stomp. Jim right back up. He's got, oh, super kick from... Captain Underpants, and then they both roll outside. Why? Why? And Jim gets thrown back into the ring. Don't take time to do that. Captain Underpants, you have a minute and a half almost to go to get two victories to tie him. Reversal from Captain Underpants throws Jim into the announce table. What are you thinking, Captain Underpants? Get in the ring. You have a minute and 20 seconds to get two victories. Elbow drop from the top rope. Pin him. One, two. Jim kicks out at two. One minute to go. Headbutt. Yeah, 55 seconds. 
to get two more victories to tie him. Pin him. One, two, three. You have 44 seconds to tie it. 44 seconds. Can you do it? Earthworm Jim with a reversal. 38 seconds. Uppercut, hit, kick. Back of the shot, back hit. You have 28 seconds. Oh, he might be able to tie him. Headbutt. You have 19 seconds. Bonsai drop coming up. 15 seconds. Oh my god, are we going to tie? Are we? 10 seconds. Bam. Ref, where are you? 7 seconds. 1, 2, 3. We're tied. With 2 seconds to go. And it's a draw. Oh my goodness. What happened? I really did not think that was going to happen. Wow. Oh, and look at this. They have to do it over again because we're in tournaments. Oh, no. Can you believe that, folks? We have to go all over again. And they they start out fresh like that first match never happened. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Oh, we're going to see these two go at it again. Oh, elbow drop from Captain Underpants on Earthworm Jim. Now slams his hand. Another elbow drop. This time he misses. A kick from Earthworm Jim onto Captain Underpants. Reversal from Captain Underpants onto Earthworm Jim. And we were going for a Samoan drop. The Earthworm Jim reverses. And DDT. And what is Jim doing? Oh, he misses Captain Underpants there. Ooh, a quick cover right away. One, two. Jim kicks out at two. We're only a minute into this matchup. Zero, zero still. Looks like we were going to go for a belly to belly, but Jim reverses. And then he keeps. He will not stop punching that face of Captain Underpants. Now he goes after the arm. And another hit, a knee, another knee, another knee. And now he's bite him in the forehead and pushes him down. We have a stun, Captain Underpants, and a cover. One, two. Oh, Captain Underpants kicks out a two. Cold Stone Stunner, Cold Stone Stunner. A pin attempt. One, two. Oh, Captain Underpants kicks out at two. Uh, two minutes in, still 0-0. Zero, zero. There we go, Jim. But Earthworm Jim right back up, then a chop, then a hit. Headlock into a hit, into another hit. We cannot get Captain Underpants down, can we, Jim? You know, my friends, I don't know. If this becomes a draw again, I don't know if I can do another 15 minutes of this match. I mean, well, we will, but then that's all we'll see today. It's just this matchup. And we're going for a cover from Earthworm Jim onto Captain Underpants. One, two. Captain Underpants kicks out at two. Earthworm Jim stomps Captain Underpants' gut. Captain Underpants up and then clotheslines Jim down. Jim right back up, though. Jim with a kick. Jim throws Captain Underpants into the rope. And what just happened there? How did he miss that? He throws Captain Underpants into the corner now. And he bashes his head into the turnbuckle. Now goes after that arm again. Headlock into a hit to the face. Then a forearm from behind. Captain Underpants then catches it. And then he forearms himself on the gym. And then a headbutt from behind. Jim throwing in the ropes. And nothing. And then a Samoan drop. Kind of hesitated there on that Samoan drop there, Captain Underpants. Almost four minutes into this matchup. And no pinfalls yet for anybody. Oh, he's raking Jim's eyes and oh, right in the face. Now Jim is stunned. 
Short clothesline. And what is Captain Underpants doing? Looks like he was having problems running there. Oh, he misses that leg drop. Jim got up at the last second. Then he big boots Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants with a knee to the gut. Misses that uppercut. Double axe handle from Earthworm Jim to knock Captain Underpants down. Captain Underpants thrown in the co other corner over there. Jim taking his time getting over there. Ooh, Jim took too long. And Captain Underpants is taking advantage. Earthworm Jim thrown in the corner by Captain Underpants. And headbutt. Oh, we're going for it. We're going for the bonsai drop. Yokozuna style. Bonsai. Jim is stunned. One, two, three. Captain Underpants has the first victory of this particular Iron Man match for the Intercontinental Title Tournament. As we saw, the first 15 minutes of this Iron Man match, both been tied because of that last second pin from Captain Underpants, and we had a draw. Then we had to redo this matchup, unfortunately. So as this moment, we're five and a half minutes in, and Earthworm Jim has zero victories, and Captain Underpants has one. And I don't know what Jim is thinking. Bulldog! Jim's got some work to do here. Captain Underpants is being smart. He goes on the outside. Jim back to the top rope. And Jim with double axe handle right between the eyes onto Captain Underpants. And then the wooden elbow drop. Now stomp after stomp after stomp after stomp after stomp. Hit after hit after hit. Oh, we blocked it and then a slap. What an insult. Ooh, throws Earthworm Jim right into the steps. And when Captain Underpants has decided he's going to go back to the ring. I would have done a little bit more damage to Jim. Got him counted out and have two victories to none. Captain Underpants catches Jim coming in. Throws him in the turnbuckle. Bashes Jim's head into the turnbuckle. And boom. Booty shot right in the corner, but didn't affect Jim. Jim with a knee to the gut. Jim with a knee to the face. Jim picks up Captain Underpants and headlock into a hit, into a hit from the back, another hit into the back, double axe handle into the back, a double double axe handle into the back, and Earthworm Jim has finally knocked Captain Underpants down, then he gets him back up, throws him back in the corner, and then he hits him, knees him, knees him, knees him, and now he's biting him again, and he throws him down, we have a stun Captain Underpants, one, two, Three, we are now tied with seven minutes and 45 seconds to go. Cold Stone Center, Cold Stone Center. We're going for another pin. One, two, three. That's two quick victories for Earthworm Jim. Over Captain Underpants, and Captain Underpants has one. Oh, I think Jim was going to go for that stunner again, but Captain Underpants blocked it, puts him in the corner, but Jim reverses that. Jim back in the corner. And here we go. Another headbutt. Oh, we're going for another bonsai drop from Captain Underpants. With seven minutes and nine seconds to go, are we going to tie a captain? Bam! Earthworm Jim is stunned. Oh, but we didn't go for the cover? What? Here we go. One, two. Jim kicks out. Jim kicks out. Captain Underpants can't believe it. He is... Shocked if he would have stayed with that bonsai drop and just stayed on him, he would have pinned him, I think. He keeps hitting Jim, but Jim will not go down. Jim blocks it. Jim gets back in the ring. Jim gets thrown into the ropes. Samoan drop. Pin him. Pin him. You have six and a half minutes, Captain Underpants, to try and tie this. Oh, here we go. Bonsai. Bam. But this time not from the second rope. Cover him. We have a stunned Earthworm Jim. One, two, three. We are tied at two and two. With six minutes and 12 seconds to go in this Iron Man match. A knee to the face. 
What does Captain Underpants have planned? What does Captain Underpants have planned? Double axe handle from the second rope. Right between the eyes, and then a big splash. Under Storm Jim, one more hit, and oh, small package! Small package! One, two, three! Oh, I was about to say one more hit on Earthworm Jim and then he'll be stunned. Belly to belly on Earthworm Jim and Earthworm Jim is now stunned. What is Captain Underpants going to have planned? Will Captain Underpants get a third victory with five and a half minutes to go? And he headbutts him and we're going for a bonsai drop yet again. Here we go, bonsai drop from the second rope. Bam! Are you gonna stay on him this time? He is. One, two, three. We are tied three, three, folks. I have five minutes and seven seconds to go. Reversal from Earthworm Jim. Jim realizes there's five minutes to go and he needs to get at least one more victory to advance into this intercontinental title tournament to go to the finals. Body splash from the top rope, but misses. Jim with a stomp. Now Jim tries to cover him. One, two, three. He does it. Jim has a victory. That's four victories to one. Ooh, I'm surprised Captain Underpants didn't try to put any body part on the rope and have the ref not see it yet again like the last match. You know, technically, Earthworm Jim did not deserve that. Pinfall in the last Iron Man match they had, the first one they had. Nice DDT from Earthworm Jim. Since Captain Underpants' hand was on the rope and the ref should have seen it. But it was what it was. And it caused a tie. And we went on to our technically second Iron Man match of the day here. Or an Iron Man sudden death in a way, but not really. We have three minutes and 50 seconds to go, and Earthworm Jim has one more victory than Captain Underpants. Look at those knees to the gut in the corner, and now he's biting him, and we're stunned, and he puts him down, and what is Earthworm Jim thinking now? Cold Stone Stunner, no, he misses. He went for his finisher. Belly to belly, Jim down. Stomp from her, um... Captain Underpants on the gym and Bonsai drop. Oh, one, two, three. We are tied with three minutes and 16 seconds to go. We both have four victories yet again, just like the last Iron Man match we just had with them. The first one we had with them. They both were tied up four piece. Cold Stone Stunner, Cold Stone Stunner. We are stunned. Cover him. One, two, three. That's five victories to four. Now can Jim hold on for five or two and a half, almost two and a half minutes with this fifth victory so that he can advance into the finals? Or will Captain Underpants pull something out of his underpants and get a victory and tie it and then make us go into a third Iron Man match? Who knows? Well, look at that. Look at that. One, two, Three, he did, he did pull something out of his underpants to get a victory. Ooh, but a big boot. We are tied up 5-5 with two minutes and 16 seconds to go. What is Captain Underpants thinking now? Jim right back up, though. And he catches uh, Captain Underpants on the top rope. Captain Underpants with double axe handle cover him. He stomps him. And now, oh, I thought he was going for the camel clutch. Apparently not. What is her? What are you doing, Captain Underpants? Earthworm Jim doesn't know what to do. That was a mistake, Captain Underpants. Big mistake, conning the crowd like that. See, it cost you. Captain Underpants throwing in the ropes. A knee right to the gut. Now he's punching Captain Underpants' face. One and a half minutes, guys. One and a half minutes to get a victory for one of these guys. Jim to the top rope. Captain Underpants on the outside. Captain Underpants is getting up, and Jim, double axe handle onto Captain Underpants. Get him in that ring, Jim. And get a victory. 
You have one minute, three seconds to go. Here we go with a pin. One, two, three. One minute to go. One minute to go. Jim has six victories to five. And we just got Stone Cold Stunnered yet again. Are we going to go for seven victories here? Here we go. One, two, three. We have 38 seconds to go, and Earthworm Jim is up. Two victory, seven victories to five, so two up. Hip toss from Earthworm Jim. That's right. Now you can use your brain. You got 26 seconds. One, two. Captain Underpants kicks out. Don't know why. He's got 20 seconds. It's over. Earthworm Jim is going to the finals of the Intercontinental title. It took some doing with, against Cap Gunner Pants, but he did it, ladies and gentlemen. Earthworm Jim is advancing. 2-1. It's over. Earthworm Jim wins. Oh, headbutt. Look at this. Cap Gunner Pants wasn't going to give up. Earthworm Jim with the victory, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Earthworm Jim. We are now going to our second match of the day. Which will be Deadpool against Randy Fellface. But what kind of matchup will they be in? We may have to do a three-parter on this, guys. Unfortunately. Because we're already 30 minutes into this recording. And I only have 30 minutes left. Depends on how long this next match goes. And here we go. What kind of match are they going to be in? Find out in two seconds. A hell in a cell between Randy Fellface and Deadpool for the semifinals of this Intercontinental Title Championship Tournament. Which one's going to advance into the finals against Earthworm Jim? We're about to find out. Randy with a kick from the second rope on Deadpool. Now Randy is covering Deadpool's face. Pushes him down. Now Randy goes right after Deadpool's leg. Deadpool thrown out of the ring. What is Randy thinking now? Suicide dive perhaps? No, he just stood there. Another kick from the second row from Randy fell face onto Deadpool. Deadpool has yet to do anything. Here we go, Deadpool. Deadpool throws. And nothing. Randy with a slap. Karakarana from Randy fell face onto Deadpool. Deadpool slowly getting up. What is Randy thinking now? Randy's going under the ring for some weapon. And we got a chair. Deadpool's like, I will meet you outside. Randy with a reversal. Randy throws Deadpool back in the ring. Randy leaps back in. And Randy is working on Deadpool's arm now. Puts him in. Is just stretching that arm out. Now Randy's going for the cover. One. Kicks out at one. I would love to see Randy and Deadpool go outside the cell and go on the very top of it and really do some damage to each other. Deadpool the reversal on Randy. Deadpool finally is countering these moves. Oh! Powerbomb backstabber in a way. One. Ooh. Randy gets out of the ring. Deadpool celebrating. Deadpool with a forearm from the second rope onto Randy. Randy up. Deadpool goes and misses that kick. What a move from Randy. Look at this. Deadpool's going to get a cheap victory. No. Oh, Randy was going for a low blow on Deadpool, but Deadpool noticed that and moved out of the way. Now Deadpool has a chair. Oh, hits Randy right between the eyes. Now hits Randy's knee. Oh, he misses that. Randy hits him. 
Another here, Corona from Randy. Now a cover. One, two. Deadpool kicks out at two. Randy picks up the chair. Now it's his turn to hit Deadpool with the chair, but misses. Misses again. Randy can't do it. What a clothesline from Deadpool. A second clothesline. And Randy tries to kick him, and what a leg sweep from Deadpool onto Randy. Felt face. Deadpool picks up Randy. Randy with a reversal. Randy picks up Deadpool. Oh, what a kick to the face. What is Randy doing? What is Randy Feltface thinking? Kicks him right in the back of the head. Deadpool with a kick to the gut. Throws Randy out. Don't got much room there, guys. To really do anything because we're inside a hell in the cell. Ooh, Randy against the cage. Deadpool misses. Randy gets right back into the ring. He doesn't want to be on the outside. Deadpool gets back in. Randy meets him. Randy with a stunner. What is Randy thinking? Randy runs and oh! He hesitated. And Deadpool takes advantage big time. Deadpool grabs the chair yet again. Oh, misses that chair shot. Randy kicks him and hits him. Misses that drop kick. Randy thrown to the ropes. Deadpool jumps down, leapfrog, and ooh, hits him right in the gut. Now what is Deadpool doing? Deadpool goes under the ring. What weapon is he gonna find? A kendo stick, and Randy is doing a little dance. Now a somersault. What a move from Randy, fell face on a Deadpool, cover him. Randy is now focusing on Deadpool's arm. Deadpool's face is really in the red now. And he has a red face. Ha <laughs> ha. Randy with the cover. One. Two. Deadpool kicks out at two. Randy's frustrated here. Randy wants to go off into the final round of this tournament and meet. Earthworm Jim, but so does Deadpool. What are we thinking here, boys? He throws Deadpool, but Deadpool trips. I see what Randy is trying to attempt, but here we go. Here we go. We're going to throw him outside. Oh, reversal from Deadpool. All they got to do is go in that corner yet again and break the cage. Oh, Deadpool against the cage. What is Randy going to do now? He throws him right into the cage again. And bam! They're on the outside. They have escaped the cage. Now climb the, to the top so you can get some more damage. Randy is going to climb to the very top of this steel cage of this Hell in the Cell. Randy's taking his time getting up there and Deadpool is still down. What is Randy going to do up there? Deadpool doesn't realize where he is. Oh, Deadpool goes up. We can do some real damage up here, folks. Randy is taunting the crowd to get him behind the crowd behind him. Here we go. We're on top of the hell in the cell now, my friends. Oh, missed knee attempt. Headbutt. A second headbutt. And a third headbutt on Deadpool. Deadpool right back up, though. A hit, a chop, and double-handed suplex or underarm backbreaker, I guess you could say. Ooh, what a kick in the back of the face. Randy, get him in the center of that cage so that you can knock him down onto the floor. And, oh, Deadpool caught him. Ooh, Randy gets slammed on top of that steel cage. And Deadpool picks up Randy and, ooh, knees him right in the face. Randy is stunned. Now we're going after Randy's face. What a stomp. What another stomp. Another stomp. And now we're, oh, Randy reverses. And, oh, 
right after the knee. What do we got planned here, boys? He slaps him, and oh, beautiful. But unfortunately, we Lee, we cannot pin you up there. We have to get back in the ring. And there's only two ways to do that. Just throw your opponent off the steel cage of the Hell in the Cell from the sides. Or you get them right in the middle there and you pile drive them right down into the mat from the top of the cage. Or, you know, you can do the lazy way and climb yourself down. And Deadpool the reversal. Deadpool with the knee to the gut. Another knee to the gut and Randy's down. What a forearm, another forearm. And Deadpool gets Randy up and Randy is once again stunned. What a kick. And Ooh, now Deadpool goes after Randy's leg. Now Randy with a reversal. I don't know what these two are thinking up here. Randy misses that forearm big time. Oh, man, if you were more in the middle, you would have gotten him down. Ooh, that's got to hurt the knee on top of that seal. What a big boot. Look at those hits from behind. Picks up Randy and once again knees him right in the face and Randy is now stunned yet again. We're going for a surfboard here, Deadpool. Ooh, no, we're going after Randy's knees. We're really working on those knees, really damaging those knees. Ooh. Harlem sidekick from Deadpool. Under Randy fell face, then he starts wailing on Randy's face. And then he stomps him. Misses that stomp. Oh, Deadpool right through the top. Randy has the opportunity. Randy has the opportunity to cover him. One, two. Oh, Deadpool kicks out at two. Randy can't believe it. Oh, all the way from the top of the cell and Deadpool went right to the mat and Randy couldn't get the victory what a hit with that steel ch chair and Deadpool rolls out and Randy throws the chair out Randy goes on the outside now Randy throws Deadpool back into the ring Randy wants to finish this matchup and move on and BAM here we go one two Oh, Deadpool kicks out a two. Randy can't believe it. Randy doesn't know what to do. Are we going for a spear? No, no. What was that, Randy felt face? What was that? One, two, three. Randy felt face is moving on to the finals against Earthworm Jim. He has defeated Deadpool in Hell in the Cell. My friends, what an exciting part two of the series we had I would say we would go to the final matchup but we may run out of recording time in fact let's do it anyway if we run out we run out because if I do a part three that match could be like five minutes and that's kind of a waste of a video so my friends we are going to the intercontinental Ch championship finals and if we run out of time, we run out of time. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Here's the final. Earthworm Jim and Randy fell face in... A regular match. Intercontinental Championship. Earthworm Jim versus Randy fell face. No special match. It's just a regular... Pinfall or submission match with disqualifications, it looks like. And here we go. Nothing too special. These two worked really hard to get to the finals. Reversal from Earthworm Jim onto Randy. Then the DDT onto Randy. And the first cover of this match. 
which one of these two, Earthworm Jim or Randy Fellface, is going to be our first Intercontinental Champion? Who do you guys have? Who do you want to win? Jim with the stomp off the ropes. And now he just won't stop stomping on Randy. Earthworm Jim knows to advance. What a move from Randy. Ooh, what a roundhouse kick. Earthworm Jim with a reversal on Randy. And another DDT. Ooh, no. Reversal. Here we go with the pin attempt. One. Jim kicks out. Misses that stomp big time. Nice kick from the second row from Randy. Earthworm Jim right back up, though. And bam. And he's working on that arm now. Remember, folks, I do not know how much time I have left in this video as I do not see the time. So if we do happen to run out of time and the video does stop, I will make sure to let you guys know in the next video on who won the Intercontinental title match. Or what I might do is if this does end with the time limit ending for us, I may just have a special match between Earthworm Jim and Randy Feltface to determine the Intercontinental Champion. Next breaker from Randy on to Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim is not getting up. Now he gets up after that missed stomp. Earthworm Jim with a suplex. Front suplex. And Earthworm Jim kind of holding his head. Stomps Jim, er, Randy. Double axe handle from behind. Another double axe handle. This time Randy blocks it. And a suplex into a power bomb. Oh, we had a pin attempt, but the ref didn't go there in time. Here we go with a pin. Earthworm Jim, hand was on the outside, so it was a rope break. Headbutt. Second headbutt. And a third headbutt. What is Randy thinking now? Hits him from behind. Ooh, Jim with a reversal. Jim throws Randy right into the corner. Jim hesitates. But then he clotheslines him right in the corner. <clears throat> Earthworm Jim misses. Randy misses. Randy was going for a wheelbarrow. And he misses. Earthworm Jim went for that double axe handle. And he misses. Look at that kick from Randy. And beautiful move. Cover him. Cover him. Oh, small package from Earthworm Jim. One. Randy kicks out at one. Oh, Earthworm Jim with a hit and a kick and then a DDT. And now he goes after Randy's arm. Oh, Jim was going after Randy's face, but then Randy kicks out of it. Oh, ouch. Randy misses that hair Karana. And a Coldstone Center, Coldstone Center. Do we have a new Intercontinental Champion? One, two, no, three. Oh, my gosh. Randy's hand was clearly on the rope. Earthworm Jim has stolen the Intercontinental title. He stole this match. But ladies and gentlemen, our new Intercontinental Champion, our first Intercontinental Champion, Earthworm Jim has done it. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a video this was today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys again real soon. Until then, I'm out of here. Bye for now.